Buenos dias, mis amigos. We hope you enjoy this seven-minute BBU distribution movie. The movie begins by showing how manual the process was with paper, lots of paper with important item and quantity information, handwritten, sometimes hard to read, and stickers, lots of stickers, hoping the right sticker is placed on the right rack for that day's sales, and more paper with important ads and cuts being calculated with a pencil on the floor. Now we look at the transportation from a distribution center to a depot. Here we have the driver filling out more paper, paper that has incomplete information with no way to know precisely what was shipped and how much. Here we have a salesman picking and filling his order. Notice how he will look at his clipboard paper to see what items and quantities he needs. Must not be on that rack. Now let us travel to BBU's Bakery in Montebello, California, home of our first PC Data Distrib implementation. We started in the production department. We replaced all of the paper with screens that look like this. These screens show real time the status of the Oracle orders pending and what has been produced against the Oracle order. As product is produced, barcode tags print from the Distrib system in two to three seconds. The barcodes contain items and quantities that have just been loaded onto racks. It's important to note that we just received approval from Central Corporate to automate the manual interface that currently exists between Oracle and PC Data. Where Oracle provides orders to PC Data and then PC Data provides ship confirmations back to Oracle. Next, let's travel to Pico Rivera Distribution Center, approximately three miles from the Montebello Bakery. PC Data was the pilot location for our warehouse management system. This is a warehouse employee who is logging into the system so that he can begin scanning barcodes and validating receipts. He can immediately see how much of any item has been received against the Oracle order and what remains pending. As the Distrib system is updated, it assigns a zone location for the product received. This is a full rack that you will see assigned to the Tempe Depot. And this is a full rack that is assigned to street number two, which will fill multiple depot orders. We have the option to take all of this receiving information in PC Data's Distrib system and pass it back to Oracle. Let's look at the process of depot order filling. You will see how this pre-dispatch employee uses the put to light system to distribute product and fill depot orders. This is the Distrib put to light rail. The system is now giving him instructions on the next product to distribute based on what has been received. Watch how this employee is strictly using the put to light system to find his next stop for product distribution. Before, he would stop at every location and look at paper to see if product needed to be delivered there. This is one of the main areas where we have realized productivity savings. This employee has filled the last tray on a rack for a depot order. He is now going to print a barcode which captures every item and quantity on that rack. We have the option to use this information to satisfy the requirements of the FDA record retention rules that go into effect in December. Since the rack is full, he will push it back into the, dis into the street and he will leave an empty to continue the order filling process for this location. Looking forward, let's watch the driver loading process. Through the use of the handheld, 
the driver must confirm destinations for delivery as barcode racks are scanned for his truck. Next stop is BBU's depot in Fullerton, California. See how PC Distrib software offers fleet tracking through the use of the handheld that gives us visibility to the driver's trip. Product unloading is validated in the same way product shipping was confirmed. Using the handheld technology and PC Distrib, this helps the driver ensure that the correct racks are being delivered to the correct depot. For BBU, many facilities are unmanned, so using the driver and this technology gives us process controls without making a major infrastructure investment. We have the option of tracking this receiving data and passing it to SICOM if we choose. Last, let's look at equipment tracking and control. Using the handheld, the driver is required to enter and confirm racks and trays he is handling at every step along the way. And finally, I would like to introduce to you my colleague back in Fort Worth, Texas, Jorge Diaz. Hola, buenos días. Soy Jorge Diaz, el director corporativo de Despacho BBU. Espero que os haya gustado el vídeo que os acabamos de enseñar. Muestra la estrategia de cadena de suministro. Todo este año hemos estado trabajando en esa cadena de suministro para hacerla mejor, más ágil y llegar a que sea una ventaja dentro del modelo de negocio. Me gustaría que conocieseis la empresa PC Data que nos ha estado ayudando en implementar esta estrategia. Su representante, Steve Richardson, el VP de Operaciones y Ventas de las Américas. Hi, it's great to be here talking with you today. PC Data is pleased and we're proud to be associated in a partner with Bimbo Bakeries USA and Grupo Bimbo as a whole. We're now deep into our next installation for BBU right here in Fort Worth, Texas, the home of Mrs. Beggs. We go live this month. Jorge and I would love to show you around the district system in action. Steve and I would like to invite you and extend an invitation to you all to Fort Worth and see the system working real. Please, come on over. Come on over.